Now the latest number of confirmed coronavirus cases here in the United States rising past the half a million mark with more than 20 thousand deaths, both numbers the most in the world. But it is important to consider the size of our country compared to some of the other hard hit ones. Dr. Anthony Fauci saying a, quote, rolling reentry back to normal could begin next month. And in New York, deaths remain high, while the governor says there is evidence that the curve is indeed beginning to flatten. Let's go to Tom Yamas, who's outside the Navy ship Comfort there in New York City with more. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. When you speak to doctors across New York City, some say they do see a slowdown in patients. Others say they still are feeling that surge. Governor Andrew Cuomo says we all have to be cautiously optimistic. This as we're tracking news out of China this morning. China now reporting a troubling trend. A high number of new cases now emerging. This morning, promising news New Yorkers have waited weeks for. Governor Andrew Cuomo signaling the state is finally flattening the curve. The rate of people going to hospitals dropping, but the crisis far from over. Coronavirus killing nearly 800 people a day here. Cuomo calling it a horrific rate. 758 people lost their lives in a 24-hour period. Uh, I speak to many families who are going through this, many people who lost loved ones. As New York tries to get a handle on the deadly virus, other hot zones near New York are emerging. In Massachusetts, the number of confirmed cases soaring by 21 percent over two days. In Pennsylvania, the governor predicting a surge this week after more than 2,800 new cases were reported on Saturday. If A message of hope as America reaches more grim milestones in its ongoing battle against the coronavirus. The U.S. now leading the world in deaths, topping 20,000. And all 50 states are under a major disaster declaration for the first time ever. Still, some encouraging signs in hard-hit New York. The number of hospitalizations uh, appears to have hit an apex. Progress, but the single day death toll jumped again to a staggering 783. It is stabilizing at an horrific rate. For those out of work, help is on the way. The IRS began depositing coronavirus relief checks, tweeting, We'll continue issuing them as fast as we can. And while reopening the country may be on the radar, officials from coast to coast are not relaxing the rules. Los Angeles extended its stay-at-home order until May 15th, the longest of any city. Michigan now banning visits to friends and relatives. And all New Jersey train passengers must wear a face covering. Philadelphia changed its mask policy on its transit system and will no longer enforce it after outrage over this video. Well, we started this half hour with the new coronavirus. Health professionals pointing to that old Ben Franklin saying this morning, an ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. So that is the question. How do you protect yourself now that the coronavirus is hitting more places around the country? ABC Zachary Keish is here with a look at your best bets for staying healthy. Good morning to you, Zachary. Eva, good morning to you as well. Experts are using the word inevitable when asked whether this virus will spread. That's why prevention has become such an important aspect of the response. Despite the unknowns, there are some steps you can take to protect yourself. With more presumptive cases of coronavirus hitting multiple states overnight, medical experts are now doubling down on preventative measures we all can take to reduce the chance of attracting the COVID-19 disease. It's more important than ever for people to practice good health habits. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person, either through close contact, meaning a range of about six feet, or through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. While it's unknown how long the virus can survive on infected surfaces, officials aren't ruling out the spread if someone then touches their mouth, nose, or eyes. So things that people regularly touch tend to be doorknobs, keyboards, phones, hand washing defeats all of that. 
With the vaccine still months away and millions of Americans heading back to work, the CDC still says the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed with these tips. Wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds. Avoid touching your face. If you feel sick, stay home and commit to regular cleaning. At the start of your day, you want to wipe down your keyboard and wipe down your phone so it's clean at the beginning of the day. That's a good, a good measure to take. Experts say the most important things we can do in preparation are the same things we do for a colder flu season. And we've shown you how to prevent the spread of illnesses before at work. You can actually see the entire building start getting sick if one person comes in and touches a few of these buttons. These bad boys are nastier than toilet seats. And at home. All the handles on everything, which usually are hard surfaces, so the metal handles, if you have little kids, lower down. And even if you take public transportation. If you sit in the window seat, you actually decrease your chances for getting sick because there are less people walking by you.